Yo, welcome to another episode of A Christian Podcast with Kevin Wilson. I'm Kevin Wilson. I pray that you're having an amazing day. If you're not already doing so, make sure to follow me on social media. And if you'd like to become a supporter of the show, head to patreon.com forward slash Kevin Wilson. I hope you enjoyed the episode. All right, so let's go around the room. Name starting to my right. What up? Oh, hey, I'm Lex. Yannick. I'm Samaria, also known as Sammy. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So, sin. Mm. What is mm. sin? Let's break it down, first I was of all. Just about this today. That's good. Then you good, then. <laughs> if y'all ain't here, like, say, thinking guns. about this. Yeah, we on here. Yeah, we, no. we in it. Let's jump in. Let's right, straight let's into go. it. Let's go. Um, what is sin? So, let me back it up. I want to give a context for what sin is because this is a foundational season. And I want to make sure we explain everything before we keep going. So we can talk about all this other stuff. We can talk about, uh, you know, astrology and all this and why we shouldn't do that. But if we don't even know what sin is in the first place, you know, we're going to be working backwards. So sin, what is it? How would y'all define it? Um, I think I'll go first. So I think um, one of the definitions that I came to know of sin is just simply missing the mark, like in general terms, like just missing the mark. And whenever I learned that was like one of our ministers at church that kind of share that. And uh, yeah, it was like missing the mark. And I was like, huh, missing the mark. I'm like, man, like, I mean, definitely got me thinking. So yeah, 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 yeah. missing the mark. You're yeah. in my notes already. <laughs> You're in my notes already. Can, before, mm, before we go, can you explain as what you mean by missing the mark? Um, so it's essentially, it's like everything that God created and everything that, um, God does, like it's for a purpose and an intent Mm -hmm. and essentially missing the mark is going aside from whatever God Mm -hmm. intended something to be like, um, yeah. So like, and that of course can be applied differently uh, to different people. And, you know, of course our walk with God is personal. So, um, it can mean a lot of different things to different people. So, yeah. Okay. So I would say missing the mark is good. It's a good definition. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's good. It is. I just think, so my mindset, my mindset with the Lord is so love-based that when I think of sin, I think of sin being anything that keeps him from loving us. Mm. Or anything that hurts us. Literally anything that harms us in any way that God sees that harms us in any way is sin. Because sin is not just sin and God doesn't hate sin or dislike sin just because he's God and he's some kind of dictator in the sky or something like that. No, he hates sin so much because it hurts us. Mm -hmm. He hates Mm -hmm. sin so much because it literally kills us. Mm -hmm. It will bring us to death. Mm -hmm. It will cause sickness. You know, Mm -hmm. unforgiveness is sin, and that will cause sickness. It causes cancer. Um, And so anything that separates the Lord from being able to give us the most love that he can possibly give us in our being without us exploding from overwhelmingness of love, Mm -hmm. he hates it. And that's that's why he hates sin, and that's why sin is sin. That's okay. what I feel. Yeah, one thing I'm just to clarify because I know what you meant, but I know some people. Like, oh yeah. You know, when it comes Sorry. to words, they yeah. are very. Uh, I don't know exactly what you meant. You said God sin keeps God saying. from loving us. He doesn't stop loving us. He, yeah, it, right. it sin stops us from receiving His love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just you know again I know what you meant, but I didn't want anybody to be like. Oh, what so did you just say? Yeah. Can, can, we can't. Yeah. He, there's nothing can that we can do to us. stop a, yeah. stop him from loving us. Right. So. right. Yeah. No, yeah. I forgot we were talking to other people. I forgot I was just talking to y'all. Sorry. <laughs> no, you good? You good? You good? <laughs> so, if I can share my my definition, it's really a combination of what you both just said. Um, anything that's outside of the will of God, or anything that's being disobedient to God, um, not aligning with His truth, um, or even just going against Him, as well as Anything that distorts or puts a barrier between 
um, the relationship. Right. Um, of course, like we said, God is going to love you regardless, even within your sin. Mm-hmm. But, you know, sometimes like when you have a relationship with someone and you just do things and it just doesn't, Boom. it doesn't make the relationship grow stronger. <laughs> it just makes it um, distance itself apart mm-hmm. from one another. So that's mm-hmm. something that I consider sin as. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was doing my research, I was like, I came into these two type of sins, which is one, which is a sin of omission or omission, um, and one is a sin of commission, commission. Um, so um, omission, be, omission being sins that we where we don't do something that we should, mm-hmm. and the other being sins that we actively participate. So mm-hmm. that we, uh, it would be you going out of your way to slap somebody. <laughs> That's, that's you had to go out your way. Right. Whereas yeah. the other one is like, uh, I saw somebody walking across the street that needed help and I didn't help them. You mm. didn't do anything mm. wrong, but you didn't do, do anything it. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's the good. scripture for that is James four seventeen, which is, so whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was interesting because mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. we I get real comfortable in that spot where right. it's like, well, right. I ain't do nothing wrong. Exactly. Right. So I'm good. Like I'm <laughs> right. chilling. Wow. And it's like, yeah, you ain't do nothing wrong. Right. But sometimes you you knew the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. And not doing that is just as bad. You might as well have done something wrong. You did. Mm-hmm. You did something wrong. Um and the Bible says it is sin. Wow. So yeah, I know I, that was like interesting. Yeah, to definitely me. never saw that scripture like that. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's just it's like different. <laughs> yeah. Cause we can get real just comfortable, like I didn't do anything wrong today. Yeah, but you you had five opportunities to do something right, and you right. intentionally Missed didn't out. do them. Um, it's one thing to just that is not so good. you mess up, but to say like I know the right mm-hmm. and I still not didn't doing do anything. It. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 go, what you got to say, Lex? I don't know if I'll be getting ahead of your notes. I don't want to no, get ahead good. of your notes. Just flow. Because what you just said was, oh, I didn't do anything bad today. And you're like, yeah, but there was five other things that you were supposed to do that you didn't do. Mm. And so what I was thinking about earlier today when I told you this is what I was thinking about today, um, the question came up in my head of a conversation that um, a friend and I have had before uh, where he was like, it's possible to not sin. And I was like, hmm, that's something I haven't thought about. And he was like, do you, and he asked me, he's like, do you think it's possible for you to live a life of no sin? Is it possible for you to just not sin? I and would, oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> this is so funny because I really had to think about this. Um, I like I really had to think about this. And I mean, I guess I can share my thoughts now since we're talking we're on the topic. Um but when when I in that moment when I broke it down, I was like, well, no, like I'm human, I'm flawed. Like the Bible says that I'm flawed. Like We're going to make mistakes. That's why there's grace. So he makes up for it. Like, this is why he is an understanding God, a reachable God, a relatable God. Like, this is why. And that was my initial thought, right? Mm -hmm. But that conversation happened um, probably a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And when I thought about it again today, I had a different different thought. And today, I was like, oh, shoot. Because— What's been happening in me lately is the Lord really breaking down to me the genealogy of between me and Christ and breaking down the genealogy in in spirit between me and the Father. And so if you're if if we're looking at this, the Bible says that Jesus is our brother in Christ. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or Jesus is our brother because we are in Christ because we are born and we are born again and made new. Mm -hmm. We are in Christ and he is our brother, but he's also our king. He's also our master. He's also our savior, our deliverer, right? Mm -hmm. And so it also says that we have the same authority as Jesus Christ. It also says that Christ knew no sin. Mm -hmm. And so today when I was thinking about that, I kind of pivoted my stance from a year and a half ago and it was challenged Because now I'm thinking like, oh, my Lord, then if we are called to do even greater works than what Jesus did, Lord, is it really? Hold on. It's it's possible for us to not live with sin. But then when you just raise when you just raise that point 
and said like, yeah, I didn't do anything wrong today. That's what I was thinking about is, Mm -hmm. yes, it's possible to not live with sin Mm -hmm. because it's possible to not do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. But then when you put in the point of omission, sins of omission. Isn't enough to be sinless. Right. Right. And I'm like, (laughs) oh, can we do that? Is that? Yeah. So I think, (laughs) I think it's a great point. One, I do think that we can go, like for one thing, there's a, Thing that a lot of believers say, which is that I can't go a day without sinning. All right, I, you know, right. we can't go. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Right. Mm-hmm. right, right. We absolutely can. Right. Um, I, we can't go our whole lives without sinning. Right. Let's just be real. Yeah. We ain't Jesus. Right. Right. I do think I, I and I get that. I don't even know where to like agree or disagree no, right I now get because where you at. <laughs> but the, you know, even the word says, "For all have sinned and fallen mm-hmm. short of the it glory does. of God." Yes. Right. Yes. If it was really possible, it would say, except for those, you know, there would be a word right. for that yeah. that says like, so Make in that, that sense, we have sinned. Like mm-hmm. literally when Adam sinned, sin came God. into the world, right? God. And we were born in sin and we were shaped in iniquity, shaping in iniquity, right? Yeah. However, though, there is a misconception that our flesh is in itself sinful, Right, I know this is like what. When I read this, I, I got a. This is a book called uh, Spirit Wars. Check it out. Spirit Wars. So the flesh in it in of itself, um, the Greek word for it, I can't remember at the time, but the Greek translation for it doesn't denote any. The flesh doesn't have any characteristics of good or bad. The flesh is just the body, right, which is controlled by the soul, which is our mind, right, and so you decide. To operate in the, the heavenly mm-hmm. or the demonic, right? Mm-hmm. Or any the good or the you bad, the side, yeah. right? Um, knowing that though helps tremendously because you know that once you become saved, you become born again, yeah. And so you lose that fleshly part of you that says I have to sin, right? So now whenever we sin, it's a decision versus. Mm-hmm. We're just of this nature. Right. So our right, sinful right. nature is now gone. Yes. And now it breaks the, I have to sin. I'm a human being. I have to sin. No, you don't yeah. have to sin. Mm-hmm. You're probably going to because mm-hmm. we are human. Right. Mm-hmm. But now that you've been to. born again, you are no longer in bondage to sin, Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. which is okay. a huge yeah. difference. It can Thank literally you, break somebody's chains because Absolutely. it's like, bro, I have to. I, I I've said it all the time. Like Absolutely. I'm a sinner. I'm, I'm a sinner. Like I have mm-hmm. to sin, but it's like saved we don't. Grace. Yeah, <laughs> we're saved, right. saved by grace. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, 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 yeah. I have a question to that. Yeah. So because you just said that, and we just talked about the point with not sinning, sinning at all. Mm-hmm. I love how you made the point. You know, the Bible actually says like for everyone has sinned, right? Mm-hmm. So then it kind of makes me think re like reconstruct the question that i was thinking of and because everyone's already sinned because we were born into a life to a life of sin we're born, born into this world you know and then we get reborn mm-hmm. when we are saved so do we do we think that it's possible for after we are reborn for us to never sin again or do you think it's possible i'll say from a from a point in your walk with Christ for you to go from pretty much an extended amount of time until death to never sin again. Yeah, I think it's possible. Yeah, you think yeah. it's possible? Yeah. After you get saved, just go live on a mountain <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> right. <laughs> live a, with live no a mountain. No Nothing but the body. <laughs> but, 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 and I even said no temptation, but even Jesus was by himself in the wilderness by himself. Right. Mm-hmm. Even tempted. He tempted. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Had the opportunity yeah. to sin. Yeah, 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 so yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like, but he didn't. regardless of where you at, <laughs> he, still he still didn't. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah but so. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not Jesus. So yeah. I'm not. I but think, nah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's one one thing too is you know like one thing that I like I liked uh, what Kevin said was you know like it's from our minds right mm-hmm. like the body like you choose from your like your soul yeah and uh, you know the Bible tells us like whenever we come to Christ like we need to renew our minds mm-hmm. right? right so it's like when we renew our minds like right. when we're born again like. Right. It means that your mindset, like your way of seeing sin, like, you know, changes. Mm-hmm. Like your, it's like wh- one of the ways that I look at, you know, the Holy Spirit, like literally the Holy Spirit comes to awaken our conscience to sin yeah, because yeah, before yeah, yeah. him, and like we, we didn't, like, you know, we just do it like without even caring. Right. But the moment that he comes and makes his abode in us, like, right. it's like 
Hot it's like an you. alarm alarm system. Like, mm-hmm. like, yeah. hey, yeah. like, be careful. Like, you know. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think it, it, we can. I, I feel like we can get to a point where we live without sin, but it would take us. Like, it would take a high <laughs> level of transformation mm-hmm. from us. Um, you know, like one of the things that um, the Bible says in uh, Ephesians, uh, I believe, chapter five. Like when it talks about, you know, the reason why um, Jesus has sent forth like the uh, what's it called? The, uh, the fivefold ministries, Mm -hmm. you know, he says like, and I'm, I guess I'm going to try to paraphrase it here, but I think it's five, like, don't quote me on this, but maybe like five eleven or five, five eleven to 13, something like that. Um, and it says like all of these, you know, um, teachers or the fivefold ministry are given onto us for like for the believers so that we will reach the perfect stature of Jesus Christ. Now, mm-hmm. I'm paraphrasing. Like mm-hmm. it goes deeper than that. It's mm-hmm. more specific. Uh, but you know, reaching that perfect stature of Jesus Christ is exactly what it what you know what we're we're saying here, like living without sin. Yeah. Like being perfect. Um right. mm. uh, like even mm. Jesus saying like um like the the king of this world like has nothing in me. Mm-hmm. Like so it's like mm-hmm. we can reach by our level of transformation and seeking God and trying to be transformed into the very image of Christ. We can reach a point where um, you know, we are perfect like Christ. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, yeah. we're not all there, but we're right. growing towards right. it. Mm-hmm. And so in the process, of course, we're going to sin. We're going to fall short um, in the process. But if we do reach that point of the perfect stature, we can be like, yeah. you know, able to do that. Yeah. And and I was going to say that, like, literally spot on as far as um, some people don't know. I mean, of course, we all have a, a, a moral... Uh, intuition or whatever you want to call it. The Bible says that. Yeah, but like we have it. We all know from if you're a two-year-old child, you know right from wrong. I shouldn't mm-hmm. be doing yeah. this. Yeah. So yeah. we all have that from from birth. So, But some people really are not aware of certain sins. And, um, you know, so, but yes, reading the Bible is going to, like you said, enlighten you or awaken you to where it's like, oh, because sometimes I'm not going to lie. I've read the Bible and I'm like, Hmm. I just did that yesterday. Like, <laughs> so, so it's just like, you know, but you read the Bible, but again, it goes back to renewing your mind yeah. and to um, be transformed mm-hmm. like him, you know? Um, so I think that that's a really big part. So I encourage anyone who may be listening to this, if you don't read your Bible, um, to to read in your Bible, get in your word and really meditate on his word because um, that that's what's going to bring you closer to him and to... Mm-hmm. Um, be aware of the things that you were doing in your previous life. Yeah, oh, and I, yeah, that's great. Spiritual life. That's look, <laughs> drop them gems, um, Lex. To answer, to go back to the original question, which was, can we do it? Whether or not we, I'm gonna answer your question indirectly, right? Whether or not we can or can't, <laughs> I think the goal should be less focused on can I go without sinning, versus. Can I be more like Christ? Absolutely. Yeah. Because right. you do, you accomplish both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you do Agreed. the one. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. So if I try to be like Christ. Literally in my brain. Right. Inevitably, <laughs> I sin less. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. And so the focus is less on the sin and more on who I'm trying to be like. Yep. Go Absolutely. ahead, Sammy. And you know what? As, as I'm hearing you say that. A lot of times, if we're, if that was the goal of us to say, oh, well, I'm not going to sin, I'm not going to do this. A lot of times, people can um, get that the the spirit of I don't want to say spirit, the spirit but condemnation. Yes, condemnation. and then you you begin to think, oh, well, and, I didn't sin today. I'm good. God loves me. I'm still good. Perfectionism and but yes, yeah, yeah, perfectionism, yeah. all yeah. of that stuff. So it's just like yeah, religious, religious. Uh-huh. religious. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's like, you know, if I if I messed up, oh, well, God is mad at me or mm-hmm. God is upset with mm-hmm. me and he's not going to mm-hmm. look at me the same. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to be able to, again, go back into, like you said, being more like him because he will lead you there and he will take you there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, oh. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. And then, okay, so with you just saying that, mm-hmm. um, we become to focus on ourselves. Mm, that too. And that is so dangerous because, you know, like in this in this time, you know, with our generation and generations around mm-hmm. our, ours and stuff, people are so fixated on being self-aware. Mm-hmm. And like people are like, it's just this new heightened thing that is like mm-hmm. so popular to be and to say and to seek and yada, yada, yada. And while that's very important, while that is great for personal development and yeah. Yeah. to, you know, good for communication outside of you, right. mm-hmm. 
It is dangerous for believers to become more focused on learning themselves than learning Christ. That's it, Lex. That's it. Mm. That's it. It is. Mm-hmm. That's good. And that's super it. good. Yeah. No, that's great. And so you said religious, Yannick, and yeah. I think that's a great point. That's very I want to clarify because I, I don't want to assume that everybody knows because yeah. you, you can hear a religious and think, What's wrong? With, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with being yeah, religious? Yeah. Christian, yeah, yeah. Christianity mm-hmm. is a religion. Right. Yeah. That what we mean is religious to the point where you you follow the the. It's like you. It's not relational. Mm-hmm. It's I'm doing this because I feel like these practices are what build my faith. Are yeah. these practices mm-hmm. not what build my faith? Are what Base my salvation. Right. Yeah, there we go. Like saved right. by works. Yeah, yeah. saved mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. works. There yeah. we go. Versus this relationship with God. Yeah. Right. Our, our, our God and Jesus is relational. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And so right. if I get so focused on, oh, I got to do this now and then this, I didn't do this then. So it's like, that's religion. That's, yeah. that's mm-hmm. working and operating in works. Like you said, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's a great way. Thank you to get me out yeah. of that because I couldn't yeah, no. <laughs> get out of it. Yeah, no, I think, I think that's like super important. And I think as we're talking about like, you know, like being sinless or not not sinning, like one, one thought that came to my mind was uh, like the words of Paul, like, you know, the apostle when he said, like, I crucify my flesh daily. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, hey, yesterday I won the battle, the battle but like, this yeah. morning when I, I wake up, again. like right. mm-hmm. I'm ready to fight again. Right. Like I'm ready to mm-hmm. crucify Absolutely. this yeah, again. Good. Absolutely. And I think like if we that's have right. that that same mindset, like, hey, like today I'm waking up and I'm gonna crucify the flesh again. Yeah. Like I, mm-hmm. I may have won yesterday, but today it's I'm a gonna crucify. Yeah, it's a new day. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. a new day to, to fight again, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. to fight the good fight of faith. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna fight this battle. Mm-hmm. Um and I think, you know, if we have that mindset that maybe we can't like be be more conscious and mm-hmm. um, you know, God like by having that mindset, I think the Holy Spirit Himself will like um, like speak to our hearts. Like every time we're about to sin, or even every time we do, mm-hmm. like He's going to take us to a point where we like realize, hey, like as as subtle as it may seem, like you mm-hmm. know, kind of like what you said, like um, early with that scripture in James, like I would have never thought, like oh, like God told me to, you know, like I felt like I should have, you know, helped that person, I should have prayed for that person, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. I should have, you know, shared the gospel with that person, and then. I missed that opportunity. I'm like, all right, well, you know, it's going to come back. Like, you know, yeah. but it's like, I knew that I was like, I was you supposed to do yeah. that, you know? So it's like, that is you don't exactly really think about it, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's, that's really, you know, that's really dope. And one thing too, um, like in the same aspect of like dying daily, um, I think what, I can't remember if it's in First uh, Corinthians or Second Corinthians, but you know, it, it, I think it's Paul speaking again. He was saying that, you know, um, as we behold, like in a mirror, uh, the image of Christ, we are changed into the same in- image from glory to glory. Yes, mm-hmm. like yes, so, it's yes, like yes, literally, yes, like it's yes, like yes, when, yes. when we're like it's like when it's like well, who are you judging your like your standard of living by, like or, or your standard of perfection? Yeah. Like, is it just because you see, I don't know, maybe your pastor or some like your yeah. leader or whatever, your mm-hmm. mentor, Instagram. or are you like looking at mm-hmm. like looking at your picture and then you look at the picture of Christ and you're like, Mm-mm. like yeah, that was Hello. Match. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't match. Like Hello. let me transform some more, you know, and spend time in His presence. And mm-hmm. I think that's mm-hmm. one of the things. Like when, the more we spend time with Him, the more we yep. are like Him, and yes. the more we can have that nature of of uh, absolutely of, sin, of being sinless. Yeah. And I was gonna say, I think what you're saying is super important because. As soon as we're trying to use something else that's not Christ to, I don't know, get us get us there, right? That becomes sin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as, like, when I was talking about earlier, if we're more, more so learning about ourselves, more than learning about Christ, you know, then that becomes sin as well. And it's mm-hmm. not even it's not sin because oh, it's like oh no, like God hates that. No, no, no. It's sin because it becomes emotional toll. Right. It becomes it becomes this unhealthy obsession. It becomes this fixation and and a missing of the mark. Yeah. There we go. Like, yeah, going back to what Yannick said at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and you're not supposed to be focused on the sin, mm-hmm. but focused on Christ, on Christ like yeah. Kev was saying mm-hmm. earlier. Thanks so much for watching another episode of A Christian Podcast with Kevin Wilson. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and send to a friend. And if you'd like to become a financial supporter of the show, head to patreon.com forward slash Kevin Wilson. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember to make today worth living. Peace.